Hey you guys, it's Shandira, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you thumbs up this video, and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, we will be trying Dr. Sam's Flawless Daily Sunscreen with an SPF of 50. 1.7 ounces of this sunscreen will run you $29. With that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and swatch this product okay you guys so here's the sunscreen and this is what it looks like what do you guys think um it smells like a really nice sunscreen it actually doesn't smell bad it doesn't smell chemical it's giving me like I wish summer was here pool vibes but not too much of it it's like real very subtle i kind of like it. it's not bad i'm comparing us to uk sunscreens here because this is a uk sunscreen honey if this was a U u.s sunscreen honey metallic taste mineral taste everything under the sun <laughs> On the back, it says apply three plus pumps, so I can apply this liberally. I do want to say that. And with all her products, they tell you how to use them on the back, unlike skincare brands here in the U.S. And I just want to say this. I told y'all I was applying the right amount of sunscreen. See, y'all had the audacity to come on my channel and tell me I wasn't applying the right amount of any product. That's why I said new year, new me. Everything I said last year when I was trying to be PC is coming to light. So this year, Messy Shandera is in effect. I repeat, Messy Shandera is here. <laughs> So let's apply the proper amount, which is three plus pumps. Um, one, two, three. I just love it when everything I've been saying on this channel has literally been coming to light, honey. Because it just... <laughs> It just reinforces my status of being messy. Like, I have a lot on my hand. Oh my God, is that going to give me a white car? Oh, I'm looking real. Oh, I'm scared, y'all. Dr. Sam is about to have me out here looking ashy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so in the screen finder, I look like white. But when I look in the mirror, like there's like no white cast. Like it really looks different. I know someone's probably like, how is that possible? I'm gonna turn the light down so you guys could see. Um, it just looks really weird in the light. I don't understand why these lights act like that. Like I look really like, like fair and lovely. <laughs> Okay, so the lights are down and this is regular light. You see, like I look normal. Like I look like no white cast. In the mirror, I look the same way, like virtually no white cast. So it's really weird to me how with the lights up, I look fair and lovely. And then with the lights down, there's like virtually no white cast. So, you know. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's me. It's after the video and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like in like normal, regular, day-to-day -day life and it looks pretty good. Like literally I'm on the light and I don't look white or I don't look like, you know, like a blueberry. So it's a really good sunscreen. I'm like really shocked. Like I look really good. Can y'all, do y'all see a white cast? Like my neck is matching. So I was looking in the screen finder, but I am looking amazing. I like the sunscreen. So I just wanted to show you guys the results. Okay, you guys. So let's talk about Dr. Sam's flawless sunscreen with the SPF of 50. I'm not going to go over the UVA and UVB rays, the filters and the sunscreen in this video. She has that video on her channel. I think it's a repetitive and redundant conversation when talking about this sunscreen. So I am going to talk about product performance alone and that's it. If you guys want um, more about the rays, the percentage of sunscreen filters, which this is a mineral uh, sunscreen, I am going to leave a link to her channel below. <laughs> 
that being said, you guys, I really do enjoy the sunscreen. It virtually gave me no white cast. I know it doesn't look like that, but it, my skin color is slowly coming back as I'm talking. Can y'all see? Um, it virtually did give me no white cast. It is actually a sunscreen where two pumps do go a long way. The doctor does tell you to use three plus pumps, but in my personal opinion, when using this sunscreen, I felt that two plus pumps went all over your face with no issue, especially if you are a person who doesn't do outdoor activities like that. And if you are a person who does outdoor activities like hiking, biking, running, but you're really covered, I think two plus pumps of this sunscreen will go a long way. If you're a type of person, you know, you run your errands, you go to the movies, you're not really laying by a pool. Well, honestly, it's not really pool season. It's, is winter time but pool season is upon us and if you're watching this review when pool season or spring break comes if you're a person who lays by the pool to get a tan you may want to use three plus pumps however you may get a little bit of a white cast if you are of darker skin tones if you're fair skin tones you really don't have anything to worry about dark skin tones like me just be a little bit careful that three plus pumps will give you a little bit of a white cast but in my personal experience when using three plus pumps I will notice about in 20 to 30 minutes my color actually reveals itself and I'm not fair and lovely and I can use this with the BB cream and actually have no issues and I like the fact that with this sunscreen being a bit of a mineral sunscreen there is no flaking and peeling with this sunscreen when applying it to your face it's really a great sunscreen to pair with a lot of your skincare for me personally when when dealing with sunscreen, it could be just really complicated finding a sunscreen that pairs nicely with the rest of your skincare routine. Whether you do five steps or whether you do 10 steps, depending on the type of person you are, I always find it so difficult to find a sunscreen that I can use that doesn't flake, that doesn't peel, that's a mineral sunscreen, as well as a chemical sunscreen, and just goes nicely with the rest of my skincare. And that's why, honestly, a lot of people don't wear sunscreen. is because you have this really great skincare routine going on right and then you turn around and you apply the last step which is a sunscreen and sunscreens especially here in the US are always botched they can mess the whole routine up so some people just don't have time to be applying sunscreen just to be messing a really good skincare routine up look I'm just being real y'all know y'all be having that bomb skincare routine your skin look glowy next thing you know oh let me put the sunscreen on and it looks botched it happens time and time again that means and said I noticed that with this sunscreen my skincare looks really well after and once I start applying makeup I get no flaking no peeling my makeup goes over smooth and it doesn't cake my skin and I really enjoy that as well this is really overall a great sunscreen 1.7 ounces at $29 is very pricey to some of y'all I know but I've seen pricier sunscreens on the market and for me personally honestly the ones that are a little bit more expensive like the $20 range and up they perform way better in my personal experience and my personal opinion than the cheaper sunscreens I don't know why when it comes to sunscreen and skincare you may just want to go ahead and spend a little bit more money because you get way better results with expensive sunscreens versus El Cheapo sunscreens out here because the El Cheapo sunscreens whether they're chemical and physical if they're under $15 in my personal experience they really perform horribly now that's just my personal experience and whether it's a white cast it's giving you a metallic taste it's just gritty it makes your skincare look nasty the expensive ones work the best especially here in the u.s especially here <laughs> That being said, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.